Hey guys, I'm back for some more spring deep cleaning. In today's video, we are tackling the kitchen. We're gonna be cleaning some things that I have never cleaned before, something that you're probably totally forgetting to clean, and so much more. So give me a thumbs up if you're ready to get moving with me. Hey friends, welcome to Jamie's Journey. If you're new here and if you are returning, thank you for coming back and hanging out with me. We have a lot jam-packed into today's video. So I've been on a spring cleaning kick. I am doing a spring cleaning series here on my YouTube channel. So every week I'm picking a new room in the house and cleaning it from top to bottom. In today's video, it's the kitchen, which I think is the messiest, the dirtiest, and the most satisfying room to really clean. So there's a lot we're gonna be doing today. Like I said in my intro, there was one spot that I don't think I've ever cleaned before and it was pretty dirty and this is something I'm adding to my weekly rotation so I'm curious if you are forgetting to clean this space if you have it in your home and we're just going to be doing a lot of satisfying deep cleaning. I'm confident that when you're done watching this video you're going to feel good, you're going to feel motivated and hopefully you'll do some cleaning along with me. So when you guys are watching this, well, I guess I should say, if you're watching this when it goes live on April 7th or even April 8th or that week, I do want to apologize. My husband and I are in Georgia. We're actually at the Masters. Um, my husband won tickets to the practice round, which is on Monday. So we're going to be gone. So I won't be as present in the comment section. So just know if you leave a comment, I will be reading those. I will be glancing through those when we're in the car or doing other things. Um, but I just may not respond to every comment like I like to do or as to as many as I like to do or respond to. So if you do leave a comment, please know I appreciate your comment and I, I, I appreciate you being here. I just won't be as present since we're in Georgia. So we're going to be at the Masters at the practice round watching the golfers. My husband won tickets and so we're going south experiencing some hopefully nicer weather than we typically experience in Ohio in April. So we're off having fun but thank you for being here and I do appreciate your comments.
So I was just kind of starting out with a clean slate this evening because I knew the next day I was ready to go start the deep cleaning and I wanted to have a clean slate before I started that. So that's what I was doing here. And really quickly, I want to give a shout out to Michael. His mom reached out to me and said he, lo he loves watching my videos. I just want to say hi, Michael. Thanks for watching, buddy. Let's do this. Alright, so I didn't know what I was getting into with this garbage disposal. We did it at our last home for the first time and it was so gross. There was so much buildup on it and I was kind of surprised because it wasn't, it doesn't look that bad. So if this is an area that you're not cleaning, if you can, take your garbage disposal apart and really get in there and give it a good cleaning. I like to do this um, for the past couple of years. I've been doing it once a year. I do have dish or disposal tablets that I use regularly probably on a weekly basis um, but I like doing this once a year during my spring cleaning time to just go in there because I'd actually ran one of the um, disposal tablets maybe two nights before this and it's just not going to get everything there was like still chunks of food in there even though I had ran this for a while before I removed it so I was just getting any random chunks of food which is kind of gross um out of there and then i was wiping this little um splash guard or whatever you want to call it i know in some sinks you can actually pop this off from your sink but in our last house and in this house you can't just pop it off you have to actually take the whole disposal off and give it a good cleaning so i was just wiping it out with some clorox wipes and then here i'm just spraying it with some of the jaws disinfectant spray Oh, and I forgot there's going to be a giveaway in today's video. De details for that will be here in a little bit. I'm going to give away my handheld pink scrubber. So that is something you'll see me use here when I do clean the oven, but I'm going to be giving that away. So details for that will be here later. Um, but here I had Mike pull out the stove oven, stove top, and the refrigerator so I can clean under it. Again, if you're new here, we moved into this house about a year ago. It was December 30th, December 30th of 2022. So I didn't expect under the, the stove or the fridge to be that bad, but it's something I like to do at least once a year. Sometimes I'll do it in the fall as well, but I always do it during spring cleaning time. And I have to laugh because you're gonna see Mike pop in and kind of like, so here he moved the fridge and the oven for me. And then on day two, you're gonna see him taking down um, the pendant lights 
over the island so I could give them a really good deep cleaning. And it's hilarious because he is wearing the same thing. Actually, I think in all three days that I was doing the spring deep cleaning, he was wearing the same outfit, but they were all different days. He's clean, um, but he works from home. So he just, you know, like I think we all have our favorite sweatshirt and sweatpants that we wear all of the time, but I was cracking up as I was editing because I didn't even comprehend it in real time because that's just what he always wears. He doesn't wear that sweatshirt and those sweatpants every single day but just this week he happened to wear it three days and I had to laugh because it's caught on camera so you'll see him in a white sweatshirt and black sweatpants all week long So my oven is not too bad. We don't use our oven a ton. We definitely use it probably daily, um, but I don't know. It just doesn't get too dirty. We use our stovetop and air fryer and crock pot way more than the oven. So it's not too dirty, but you are going to see me um, how I deep clean it. It is different than how I clean it um, regularly. Okay, but here really quickly, I had noticed that something had leaked in the garbage cans. It happens. So something that I like to do is this takes care of any lingering smells and it's easy way to clean it up is I pour some Mr. Clean multi-purpose cleaner in there. They have some with a variety of scents. Um, there's like a green kind, there's a purple kind. It doesn't really matter. So Mr clean multi-purpose cleaner you can use it to clean floors cabinets um you're actually going to see me using it a lot today so i just poured some in there and then i heated up some water and i poured it in there i'm gonna let it sit for most of the evening and there's no scrubbing and it kind of makes your garbage can smell a little bit nicer um okay so here before i go and clean the oven i sprayed some oven cleaner on inside the oven and I was gonna let that sit for a while um, these pans I should just buy new ones but I was like well I have the oven cleaner out I'm gonna spray our pans let those sit overnight and then you'll see me scrub those tomorrow so I can kind of clean them up again a bit before I you know give up and buy new um, but here I'm cleaning the hood range with um, some degreaser so I dusted first with my scrub daddy damp duster then I went in with my jaws degreaser then I'm going to shine it with my spray away stainless steel cleaner and I'll talk a little bit about oven cleaner here in a little bit when um and like my thoughts on it how it works and all of that here when I go in to clean the oven Okay, it may 
look like overkill but I just since I'm spring cleaning I'm going all out and so I first went in with the oven cleaner and then you're gonna see me go in with the Jaws cream cleanser and then I'm gonna shine it up with some Dawn power wash and I do that because with the oven cleaner I just want to make for sure I get all of the oven cleaner out so a few things about oven cleaner um, I actually like the easy off fume free oven cleaner the best but I was actually out of that um I didn't realize I didn't have it so I had some other random oven cleaner in back in my cabinet so I just use that but I like the easy off fume free and it's important to get the fume free if you have a self-cleaning oven and now you may be asking me why would you clean your oven with an oven cleaner spray oven cleaner if you have a self-cleaning oven I have heard it's not great to use your self-cleaning oven very often it can ruin your oven um, I've just heard it's not great so I avoid using the self-cleaning feature. I'm not telling you you can't do that. I just avoid it. Um, and I don't like using the oven cleaner a lot. It is pretty powerful. So that, number one, that's why I like using the fume-free kind. But the Easy Off Fume-Free oven cleaner is safe on self-cleaning ovens. There is a yellow can that's the Easy Off oven cleaner and that is not safe if you have a self-cleaning oven. So just a couple details about that. So I don't like using the oven cleaner very often because it's pretty hardcore, um, but since we're spring cleaning, that's what I'm using. So I use that first, let it sit for a while, and then scrubbed it off and then I like I want to make for sure because you can almost smell the oven cleaner and the next time you use your oven if you don't get it completely cleared out so then that's why I went in with my jaws cream cleanser um, and when I did all of these steps I didn't smell any oven cleaner the next time we used our oven and I have this little plastic razor which helps get you know how um, on the the oven door you can get those little brown spots that are really hard to get off this little razor scraper does a good job of getting that off so I will have that linked below So here after I had been letting the mister clean in the boiling water sit in the garbage cans, I was going to clean out the little cabinet area, get all of that stuff that gets shoved back there from time to time. I think it's overflow from the garbage cans and I think that was a banana peel that was in the bottom. So I was going to vacuum that out and wipe it all up and then you're going to see me, I bought a protector for the cabinet right there, like kind of where I'm holding my hand on the cabinet. That area, at least in our old house, that got really banged up. You know, your the kids are, you know, throwing stuff in the garbage, food would get on it, and the paint chipped off after a while. So I wanted to get something to protect it. So I bought this little um, cabinet protector that just slides on there. You'll see me put a new one because we had one when I moved into this home and then I think over time it got cracked it broke a little bit I think that just shows you how hard probably we are um, on the garbage can um, or in that cabinet so I bought a new one I will have that linked below um, but I was just here wiping everything down and then after this I'm going to be done for the evening but I'm going to pick up here um, in a couple of days and do some more like a lot more spring cleaning in here. And I'm gonna show you an area that you probably wanna check to see because if you have this area in your home, you probably aren't cleaning it and it's probably a good idea that you should.
I'm back for more. You know that I'm the queen of overthinking. It's like we're done before we even started. So if this is the end now, baby, know that I gave him my all. I believe in us. I won't give up on you. I will be holding on for life. Hope you believe in us. Please don't give up on me. At least give me a try. Cause you're the best thing, the best thing. Alright, there's Mike again in his white North Face sweatshirt and Under Armour sweatpants. Um, yeah, it didn't even wreck, I didn't even process it at all when he was um, helping me do this throughout the week. And I think there's another day that I'm cleaning, maybe, I kind of forget, um, and he was wearing that. So, anyways, he took these down for me and what I did was I laid a towel in the bottom of my sink and then I used some Dawn Power Wash and I was really scrubbing it from the inside and the outside and then I dried it with an e-cloth, the glass and polishing cloth. If you guys don't know what e-cloths are, they are amazing cloths you clean with just water um, and since the the pendant lights were already wet. I just use a dry one and it's just a good way to, they're great on windows, they're great on mirrors and yeah e-cloths are really really great. So I will also have those linked below but here I was using the Mr. Clean in a bowl to really scrub my cabinets. I typically don't do it. I'll just, um, I guess the lazy way is I'll just use a spray cleaner or I'll use my mop um, but here since we're spring cleaning I wanted to use the Mr. Clean and really get in there and with a rag with a microfiber cloth and get into all the cracks and crevices another good cleaner for your cabinets would be Murphy's oil soap that one is a good one I, I've used that before so So it's time for the giveaway. So for the giveaway, I'm gonna give that pink handheld scrubber that I use on the oven. I'm gonna give one of those away. It also comes with an extendable pole. So you can use it, like I use it in my bathroom. So you don't, if you have trouble bending over, like I know for my parents, it's very helpful because it's not as easy for them to get down on their hands and knees to scrub their bathtub or shower. So it's a really, really great tool that I use in my kitchen, bathroom, all of that. So this giveaway will be running for a little bit less than a week. It's going to run through April 12th at 1159 Eastern Standard Time. So it's going to end on Friday on April 12th and I will announce the winner on April 13th on my YouTube community tab and I will also respond to the winner and pin their comment on April 13th and give them details on how they can get a hold of me so I can get them their gift. And FYI, I will never ask you for money. There's a lot of scammers out there. I will never ask you for money or any any sort of monetary 
anything like that in order to get you the product. So just know a giveaway is a giveaway. It will not cost you anything. So in order to en enter the giveaway, all you have to do is be subscribed to my YouTube channel. Give this video a thumbs up. You should see the little thumbs up right under the frame of the video. And then if you want to enter the giveaway, just comment scrubber in the comment section. You can comment scrubber and then another comment if you want to say something more. It doesn't have to be just scrubber, but you can just comment scrubber if that's all you want. So um, I just wanted a word that if like maybe you don't want the scrubber or you already have one, if you want to leave a comment, you can. So be subscribed to my YouTube channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Again, that's right under the video frame. And then comment scrubber in the comment section. I will announce a winner on April 13th. Good luck and thank you guys for being here. Oh, if an international winner is selected, I will give them the monetary value of the scrubber. All right, I want to take a little break. I got hungry and thirsty. And I had ordered these. I've been seeing so much about this poppy. It's a, well, this flavor, it's a probiotic soda and it's strawberry lemon. I kept hearing a lot about it. So I was due to get some more protein bars. And so I added this from my latest Thrive Market order. Um, this flavor at least lives up to the hype. I think I got another, I tried out another one, like a strawberry or something, raspberry rosé. So I'm gonna try that, but pretty good. And these are my favorite protein bars. I've had the chocolate, I forget the ones that I have, the other ones that I really, really like. Um, and I think I got these last time. These are the peanut butter cup kind. So it's, yeah, peanut butter cup. So these Aloha bars are my favorite. Really good. So here I'm cleaning my stove top. I was using, using the Jaws degreaser first to get all of the crumbs and just stuff on the surface off. And then I was kind of spot or eyeing it and I was going to spot clean where there was some brown stuff and I was going to use my Jaws cream cleanser and my hand scrubber um, to get those areas while I was letting the grates soak in the sink and I put a dishwasher tab. So I ran as hot of water as I could from the tap threw in a dishwasher tab and I was letting those soak. And then you're gonna see me use a pumice stone. And this is something I've never used before. I've heard how great they can be for hard water. Um, they're great on the oven, they're great on the stove top. So you're gonna see me use that here on certain areas on the on the grates where there were some things, uh, spots that I couldn't get off, as well as the little like black caps that go on the gas, um, like the gas burners or whatever those are called. So I'm gonna use a pumice stone. The key with the pumice stone is you wanna keep it wet. So keep it wet, go um, whatever you're kind of, whatever stain you're trying to get off, go at it from an angle and it worked pretty good for me.
All right, so let's talk high point and low point to my week. Now, I want to say, I remember I got this idea. There was a podcast that I had listened to at one point, and they did a high point and low point to the week. And sometimes it's very, like, goofy stuff, which I actually kind of appreciate. Not, like, the heavy high point and low point um, or you know, just like what you would consider, like the, like kind of like high point and low points that are a little bit funny, um, and not so obvious. So that's kind of what I have for you today. So the low point, I have these chips that I love eating. Love these chips. They're so good. They are Tostitos Hardy Dippers. So they're essentially Tostitos version of Fritos. So they're like Fritos, but they're bigger and I think they taste better than Fritos. I love these Tostito Hearty Dippers. They're so good. Um, they're my splurge, my cheat little snack. I think they've stopped selling them. When I find them online, I used to get them from Walmart and Target, but they no longer have them. And when I do find them on Walmart's website, it's like a shipping deal and it's like they're like $30 for a bag. And I'm like, well, I'm obviously not paying $30 for a bag. So I am so sad. I cannot find these Tostitos Hearty Dippers anywhere and they're so good. I have like some crumbs left in a bag and Mike was eating them the other day and I was like, stop eating them. I don't think they sell them anymore. I need to eat every last crumb. So the low point of my week is I think Tostitos has discontinued their hearty dippers and I'm very sad about that. So I will get to the high point here in a minute, but I've been using using CLR lately. Um, I had used it in my friend Carissa. If you watch her channel, Carissa Cleans It All. She has a great YouTube channel and Instagram and TikTok. But she used CLR in her bathroom, so I tried it and it did a really, really good job um, on some really hard stains on the shower head. Um, and I was kind of researching it and you can use it to clean your dishwasher or you can use it for your washing machine and I do have a fresh tablets that I use in both of those areas but I thought the CLR may be good to do maybe quarterly so you just pour a half cup in your dishwasher and then run a cycle and it gets rid of because I know there's calcium buildup in the dishwasher I'm sure there's some rust so it kind of helps get rid of all of that so I did that um, in the dishwasher and I rinsed out the filter and then I used this, I think it's called an Angry Mama. It's like a little, little angry, looks like a little Angry Mama. And you, I poured some vinegar and water and it helps spray the vinegar and water mixture all over your microwave. So I filled a little Angry Mama with mostly vinegar, white distilled vinegar, and then some water. And then I microwaved it for about seven minutes. And you probably miss me. I didn't wipe out. I did wipe out the mess that was in there but i forgot to film it i think i had forgotten to hit record so you take the little angry mama pour vinegar water i microwaved it for about seven minutes and then you could see everything was kind of sprayed all over the inside of the microwave and then i go in with the microfiber cloth and everything wipes out pretty easily my microwave was not dirty at all i had actually just used this about a week ago but because um I'm doing this video. I wanted to show you guys how I would deep clean and clean up my microwave. Something you don't want to forget about. I got this weight on my shoulders, slowing me down. I don't know how it came about. And why the world is spinning faster every night. I feel I'm stuck in reverse somehow. But it ain't no one's fault that I am stuck here.
Okay, so this is the area I was talking about that you're probably not cleaning. Have you ever looked under under your countertops, that lip of if you have a bar area? So you, if you have bar stools, have you ever looked under your, your countertops? If you haven't, you might want to do that because look how dirty ours was. And you know, that's from the kids sitting there, touching their food, touching the countertop. It's also like even myself, when I'm like, sitting there i'll grab the underside of the countertop so make for sure you're wiping that underside of the countertop down i'm adding that to my weekly cleaning routine okay so high point to the week mike and i have been making more of an effort to spend quality time together i mean we always you know we would try our best but as life gets you know with young kids and um the twins actually just turned five last week, which is crazy to me. They're involved in more things. Their school is, you know, um, like every year something gets added. Their school, they have more stuff to do, more stuff to learn. I don't know if it's like this with your younger kids, but I think they were more motivated to get out there and they play with friends and get in, involved in more activities because they see big sister Avery involved in activities. Like Avery wasn't this motivated to get involved in activities when she was their age, but they just love doing everything. So Mike likes to coach all of their activities and sports. So things have just been busier. And even though he works from home and I'm home, you know, like we're kind of like two ships passing in the night essentially. So it's just been kind of crazy and we've been making more of an effort to really like after the kids go to bed, sit down and watch a show because it would be like, you know, I still want time to watch my reality TV and he wants time to do his own thing. So you're just trying to figure out how to juggle it all. Like we want our own time, but then we also want to make more time together. So we've been making more of an effort of really finding a show that we've been wanting to watch and me and him really get into it. So we are currently watching Succession. Um, I'd heard a lot of good things about it. So finding a show that has a lot of seasons that we can both kind of like look forward to like every night, like, ooh, let's get the kids to bed so we can turn on our show that we're really wanting to watch. Um, just finding a show that we can get lost in and that has many seasons kind of keeps it going. Like it keeps the momentum going and it keeps us keep making that time at the end of the night to just kind of like sit up in bed, eat some snacks talk about the show and just spend some quality time. So it's not perfect, but we just try to work at it as much as we can. And I think we kind of gotten away from that for a while and we're back. So making more of an effort to spend that quality time together when we can. So this was pretty much most of the kitchen spring cleaning. Now I did not clean out the fridge because there were just other things that I had to do. I mean, I've never in this house took apart the disposal and deep clean that. I was taking extra steps to deep clean other areas of the home and I clean out my fridge um, probably like I do like a deep clean monthly. So that was not really high up on my list as well as like scrubbing my sink. I scrub the sink all of the time. So I don't have like those tasks that I would typically would encourage someone to do if they were like, what should I be spring cleaning? But I am, I think when I spring clean our living room, I'll probably do a deep clean of the refrigerator then just because it would feel good to do it. And I should have more time because I won't have as many tasks 
when I'm cleaning the living room because there's just not as much stuff in there or areas to clean. So stay tuned for that. But don't forget to enter the giveaway if you want that handheld scrubber. Again, just be subscribed to my YouTube channel. Give this video a thumbs up and comment scrubber in the comment section. Any international winner will be given the value of the scrubber, um, but I will announce the winner on Saturday, April 13th. Good luck and thank you for being here. Hopefully I can motivate you guys to do some spring cleaning this year. And that is a wrap with spring cleaning the kitchen. I don't know, I think deep cleaning the kitchen is one of the harder rooms in the home to clean because there's a lot of different areas, a lot of different parts of the kitchen. So I feel so much lighter that the kitchen is deep cleaned. Um, I'm thinking next week we're gonna move on to the living room. We're gonna keep on keeping on, but I feel good to have the kitchen all done. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. video I hope it was motivating for you. Hopefully you are spring cleaning along with me. The very end of this video, I know it's a long one, so I appreciate you sticking around. I just hope you got something out of it um, that can help you in some way. So thank you so much for being here. I will see you guys next week for some more spring cleaning. See you then. Mm -hmm.